Our latest report is subtitled, How New Waves of Special Interest Spending Raise the Stakes for Fair Courts. And what it does is focus on this surge of special interest pressure in judicial elections by groups that often do not have to disclose their donors and who are nonetheless trying very hard to influence court decisions by putting more money and more political pressure into judicial campaigns around the country. The big news this year is that spending on TV ads and Supreme Court campaigns broke all previous records. More than $33 million spent. Uh, nearly half that money was spent by outside groups, uh, special interests and political parties. Ads in Supreme Court races are growing increasingly negative and they typically sensationalize criminal cases, accuse judges of being sympathetic to terrorists and, and rapists and child molesters. They tend to distort the truth. They tend to put pressure on judges so that the next time they have a criminal case that they'll be looking over their shoulder at an interest group that might run an ad against them, and they make the public more cynical about the process and more cynical about the court. We're at a point now where in the past election cycle, nearly half the money came in from these outside groups. That's compared to only about a quarter of the money just four years ago in the last presidential election cycle. So we're seeing a situation where outside groups with their own agendas are beginning to take over court elections as part of their efforts to take over the courts themselves.